This is ridiculous. <laughs> it fits, guys. That's crazy. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about brake calipers. And specifically, we're going to be talking about what is the best upgrade uh, as far as brakes goes for the P11. Now, this information will be the same on a lot of Nissan Sentras, uh, 300ZX. A lot of Nissan vehicles use the same mounting uh, holes for the calipers. So if they fit my P11, there's a good chance that they're going to fit your vehicle as well. So without any further delay, let's get right into the video. Before we get too ahead of ourselves, so let me just say that the stock brake system on the P11 is more than adequate for daily driving. Now, with that being said, sometimes these brake calipers just look a lot better than the standard sliding brake caliper that these cars come with. Currently, what I have on my P11 is Nissan Sentra Brembo calipers with uh, 2003 Infiniti G35 Coupe rotors. Now, these rotors do fit the Brembo calipers. There is some minor shaving on the uh, sliding uh, brackets that you need to make, but they technically bolt up fine um, with just a little bit of a pad, um, I guess, overhang, you can say. Uh, but these are uh, the best upgrade that I've had on this car since I've owned this vehicle. These, uh, This combination here feels great. Um, however, I want to get something a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do today is try to fit the 17Z Brembo calipers or my 2003 G35 Coupe Brembo calipers onto my P11. In theory, both of those calipers should bolt up to this car. So I did get the brake pads off and you guys can see that we have a hairline of clearance on both sides of the caliper here um, so it does fit but like I said you guys have to shave down these little metal things here where the brake pad kind of rests on and slides now the issue with this is like I said you're gonna have this pad overhang um, and this over time does make noise I thought that the brake pad was worn down to the squealer right here However, that's not the case. I think this is what's causing all that noise, the unevenness of the brake pad. So um, this is a good solution. Um, I would probably uh, suggest maybe grinding down the outer part of this brake pad so that you don't have any noise. So right now what I'll do is remove the caliper and install another caliper and see if that clears. So the first brake caliper that I'm going to be installing and test fitting is the G35 Coupe Brembo caliper. This comes on G35 Coupe's manual, uh, 2003 to 2004. It also comes on the 350Zs, um, but some of those um, are hard to find because not a lot of people want to sell these, especially not the front pair. Um, but if you guys remembered, I had a red G35 that I parted out. So I kept the Brembo calipers, which are right here. Now, the rotor comparison is huge. So this is a base G35 Coupe rotor, which is bigger than the P11 rotor. Um, and uh, this is the Brembo rotor for the G35. As you guys can tell, there's a huge difference. There's about half an inch, maybe to an inch of difference between these two. Now. I'm pretty confident that this is going to be a direct bolt-on aside from the part that you have to enlarge the mounting holes on your knuckle. So the stock P11 bolt is a 17 millimeter bolt. I believe the G35 is a 22 or a 19. I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but it is a little bit bigger. So you have to make this hole a little bigger to accommodate that. Aside from that, I believe that's the only modification that you need to do. Um, so let's go ahead and put this theory to the test and put the caliper on. Mm -hmm. 
there you have it guys a 2003 gt 5 coupe bramble fits the p11 i'm also using the rotors let me show you guys over here it is making contact on the rotor but i have a feeling that's because the bolts in the back um, are not flush once i enlarge those holes on the knuckle this would fit perfect now the best thing about it is that this brembo uses the same brake pad as the spec v brembo they're the exact same so this is i think my favorite out of the two calipers that i'm going to be testing today so if you guys want to do this to your vehicle all you need is a g35 coupe brembo rotor and uh, caliper and you also need to be five legs swapped aside from that it's a almost 100 percent direct bolt-on the next caliper that we're going to be test fitting is the 17z bramble caliper i made a video specifically on this caliper um, so if you have any questions click the link above um, this is the g35 coupe brembo compared to that obviously a huge difference this is six piston compared to four piston this is such an overkill that i should be in jail by now so right over here is what i started off with now keep in mind that this rotor is bigger than the p11 rotor as it is so imagine another rotor here smaller than this one then we went to the 350z slash g35 uh, bramble and uh, we did gain about half an inch um, and this is a 14 inch rotor that we're going to use to fit the six piston uh, bramble caliper now this rotor is about 13 inches and uh, as you guys can see there's another about a half an inch that we gain from upgrading to this guy like i said this is such an overkill and you guys probably definitely not need it for daily driving however I think if I do this, I'll be the first P11 in the world uh, to do this upgrade. So that's pretty exciting. I'm going to go ahead and test fit it onto the car. Um, like I said, you're going to need an adapter bracket. Check out ECP so that you guys can get an adapter bracket as well. All right, so I have the adapter bracket on the P11. It does fit. However, there is a slight lip on the knuckle that I think we're gonna need to shave off so that this sits flush. Now, these bolts are not thick enough uh, to fit this bracket. So we do need to make the knuckle again, we need to make it bigger so that this sits perfectly flush. So first, put the rotor on, it's heavy. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it fits, guys. That's crazy. Um, I kind of spilled brake fluid on the ground here. Um, this is not a 100% bolt-on. You do need that bracket. You do need to make those holes on the knuckles bigger. But aside from that, it fits. It doesn't make contact with the lower control arm which i was afraid of there is enough clearance for that also uh you will need brake lines to make it fit so i need to look up what brake lines i could probably use there i'm thinking maybe the brake lines from the 350z and g35 coupe brembos so i have a set of those here technically those should be long enough to accommodate this larger rotor and caliper now the only question is will a 18 inch wheel fit over this um, setup i have a feeling it will so let me go ahead and test fit that and there you guys have it this evil wheel does clear the brambos there is just enough space there it is crazy so there you guys have it the six piston 17z calipers fit the p11 with minor modification and uh, the same goes for the 350z slash e35 bramble caliper and rotor now this has me thinking 
Um, technically, because this did work, anything that fits a 300ZX will fit a G20 or Nissan Sentra with minor modification. So there is an adapter bracket from Concept Z that allows you to bolt up the Akebono four piston calipers to a 300ZX. So technically I can use that same adapter bracket on the P11 and in theory it should bolt up the same way. What I found is that the knuckle on the 300ZX and the G20 is very similar. So anything that fits the 300ZX behind me should technically fit the G20 as well. Um, I don't know if I should go with the Brembo uh, since it's lighter and it looks nicer or the 17Z uh, bigger more unique but a lot heavier um, at least the rotor is a lot heavier um, but I'm kind of leaning more towards that 17Z just because I don't want to separate the 350Z slash G35 Brembo kit that I have um, it's a front and rear kit, and I can't use the rear unless I weld it on, you know, onto the the P11, which is not really something I want to do. Uh, so I think what I'm going to go with ultimately is a 17Z six-piston uh, calipers. So stay tuned for that video. I am sourcing parts as we speak. So as soon as I get everything, I will be making a video on it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to rattle can those calipers a different color or just toss them on like that in the meantime. But regardless, stay tuned. If you guys have any questions regarding the video, make sure to leave them down below. If you guys found this video entertaining and useful, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Also make sure that you guys turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a video. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.